speaking on the phone. Um, hello? Hello. Uh, you come from 570. Where are you from? Uh, Pennsylvania. Oh, Pennsylvania. Who's this? It's your favorite gadfly. Oh, well, I have a number. What's your name? Come on, Sam. You tell me you've forgotten it's Jim. Oh, Jim. Uh, Jim from Pennsylvania, of course. How are you, Jim? I'm good. I just had a little question. Are you familiar with a website called PakistaniBodyCounts.org? No. No. It's a list of all the Pakistani civilians that have been killed in military action. And uh, it's an interesting graph, if you look at it. The number of civilians killed by drone strikes has increased dramatically since Obama took office. And that's just, again, Pakistan. That, that's just a fraction of the civilian deaths, not counting Afghanistan, Iraq, Syria, Yemen. So I've asked you this before, and you've dodged the question. I just want to know, straight up, how many people will have to be killed by Obama's military policies before you're finally willing to admit he's as bad as Bush? Well, I mean, you know, uh, it's it's hard to make a calculation about, you know, what, uh, what I mean, I, I, you know, I don't know. One life is bad. Um, maybe it's as bad as 150,000 lives. I don't know. I mean, um, uh, so, as long as le- so as long as less people are killed, you're okay with it? Well, I mean, I definitely think less people dying is better than uh, more people dying. I think no people no, should any- die. Um, I think no people should die. Um, particularly, exactly. In, in, but you voted. But you still, you still pressured people to vote for Obama, even though you knew that people would die. So technically, that blood is on your hands. I felt pretty comf- comfortable that also people would die under Mitt Romney. They would die in both, but still. You're but what still? But what? Remember how you remember how during the election you said that anyone who voted independent or third party, if they ended up getting Romney elected and he ruined Social Security and Medicare, that would be on them. By your logic, people who voted for Obama and gave him the authority to continue his military policies have the culpability for that. Yeah, so I mean, like I said, elected. I think prior to the election, Jim, that I think that we all have culpability. I also pay taxes, which pay for those drones. And uh, taxes, I think taxes, even though I voted taxes, against taxes, George taxes, Bush... Them. Even though I voted against George Bush, hold on for a second. Even though I voted against George Bush and agitated against George Bush, I also felt uh, culpable in the deaths of um, hundreds, uh, you know, at least tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of Iraqi civilians. Yes, I don't think you're innocent because you voted for Gary Johnson, if that's the question, Jim. Taxes are taken by force, Sam. It's not a willing decision. Oh, really? Really? No, you have an option. You can go to prison. But I guess your freedom is more important than the lives of those Pakistanis. Is that what you're saying? What did you say? Your freedom, apparently, to you is more important than the lives of those Pakistanis. Bullshit, Sam. I voted for the one candidate who wanted to end the war. Yeah, but you still pay your taxes, Jim. You have a choice. Actually, I've, you have a actually choice. I've gotten refunds. For, I've gotten refunds for the last couple of years, so no. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good for you. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. I mean, once, once, once again, Sam, you pr- you prove that you are a fake progressive. You're a tool. Okay. Well, I appreciate the phone call. Is that it? Uh, yeah. Why don't you get a real job instead of spewing vitriol and hatred, you left-wing Limbaugh? <laughs> All right, thank you. Appreciate it.